I think we'll have Fixer choose who gets first next time, because he's going last on this one. I, I think random probably would be best. It doesn't matter. Who do you want to sit next to at lunch? If we do, if we uh, do the debate right, we can. It, it would be more interesting. Just don't whoever whoever's doing it next time. Alzarath, I guess each time probably. Just don't click until we have picked what we're supposed to pick. Yeah, I, I kind of clicked a little early there. Apologies. I choose to go for Alzarath. As you approach the table, you see Vera delicately lifting a fork full of quinoa to her mouth. She brings lunch from home. Hold when... on, can I interject? I'll go on. Is the cook available? Sorry? Is the cook available to date? I think I don't actually know. pretty much everybody in the game is available to date in one form or another, actually. Did you? Did, did, did there anybody... are a lot of secret characters. Did you guys see the cook in the background? I did not see the cook. I saw the monster hunter who I totally want to date now. The, the cook Fixer. was like an, a crocodile with a shirt that said, kiss the cook. Fixer, oh, really? Fixer hush because I want to give my cheer. Food, four, six, eight. Who do we delicate? Eating, eating, yeah, eating. Woo! I'm so not going to date that guy. Ah, Scott, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> I'm cheerleading you, WP, the best eater in the whole school. What caused this obsession with cheer? What what caused this obsession with cheerleading me through mundane activities that require no cheerleading? Everything requires cheerleading, silly. This is like the ultimate me character. That's why we have cheerleaders for our cheerleaders. But I can see my che but I can see my cheerleaders not working. You haven't eaten anything yet. I feel so kind of bad picking this table, but it's also great <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> this is his Willem Dafoe and Spider-Man moment. <laughs> that's be that's because you keep starting me, startling me with your damn cheerleading. I can't eat when I'm startled. <laughs> <laughs> no, that can't be it. I must not be cheerleading hard enough. Hey, friend, maybe you can help me. I I think I have to go along with the top one. He shouldn't be cheering with food. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know obviously that we aren't dressed up as a giant salad. <laughs> yeah, I know the giant salad one is <laughs> great, but well. I, why, I'm, I'm going to go for the walk-in freezer one. Don't you like my cheer? You can date the cheerleader, okay? No, well, he can't, because you sat next to him now. Maybe oh, later duh! He... It's just like when we cheer for the other team to lose instead of cheering for our team to win! Yeah, passive voice! Yes, I invented that cheerleading strategy. It gives us a huge psychological edge against teams that hate losing. <laughs> I'm gonna go try it right now. Those vegetables are gonna get so inspired. Uh, and woo! Scott runs off to the kitchen to inspire the vegetables. You can still hear his muffled shouting from the back, but it's not bad. This is literally me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Now I can finally enjoy this quinoa and baby tear salad without. <laughs> Unwanted encouragement. Tol Tolkus isn't middle class. Uh, for the next week, all the cafeteria food seems extremely eager to get in your mouth. Cheerleading really works. Yay! Woo, it's me. Okay, so where's the chef that you were talking about? She, she wasn't in here. She was in the background where the oh, okay. close-ups are. There's a kitty person. Which is pretty cool, but there's also the monster hunt here, and I kind of have to sit next to the monster hunter, I think. Monster hunt. Yeah. Sure you can go for it. What classes have you uh, triumphed with the monster hunter? Oh, hunt? I see, I see okay. the kiss the cook. I don't know if that's a character you can date, but yeah. Okay. You're Let's taking see. a break from socializing to eat your lunch when someone punches you in the knee. It's the Slayer, and she's hiding under your table. Uh, oh, I guess we need someone to do a monster hunter now? Eat me, pain Eat freak! Me, pain no! Freak. I need a voice, damn it! Okay. <laughs> Eat me, pain freak! I'm gonna punch your other. Ow! 
You just threw your apple at her. Finally, a use for that red delicious. Are you just going to voice my entire chapter now? <laughs> this is this is <laughs> my, my Willem Dafoe moment. You defeated the Slayer. She flees, leaving two choice pieces of loot behind. The loot flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear, almost as if you're some kind of video in some kind of video game. No time to contemplate the nature of existence. Pick some loot before it's all gone. Uh, da, 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 da. The gun now this... shoots stakes with each shit burned inside of them. Absolutely. <laughs> this is the that second awesome. time they tried to pass guns out at school. What is the message this game is sending? <gasps> oh, you scoop up this sweet ass gun and go about your day. Obviously, you're not going to use it to kill any of your classmates. You're a monster, not a monster. But later in biology class, the teacher calls on you without warning. You panic because who has time to do the reading when you're trying to smooch your classmates? But your panic turns to self-assurance when you hear the teacher's question, what do flies do? Rather than responding with lame-ass spoken words, you respond by firing a wooden stake straight into the chalkboard. Eat shit, explains the teacher. Why, that's exactly right. Congratulations! Uh, great. You meant to shoot the teacher, but hey, whatever works. You gain plus four boldness. Woo, 11 boldness. I'm so bold. I'm... But, but you're I'm, not uh... you're not beautiful. You're just bold and smart. Okay, what, what do I want to do? What am I going to be? I feel like this is a table for me. Like, this this girl, she seemed like a piper type. Yeah, we're going to... Holly and Miranda sit together, surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. Nah, eh, I have cursor control. Yeah, you do. Okay. Okay, so... No, so wait! This... Oh, sorry, what? No, go go on, Eldereth. It's used to accomplish Eldereth. So, wait, you've actually got serfs who eat for you? <laughs> well, of course! Oh, I find eating to wish. be terribly undignified, <laughs> so I almost never do it! Like, hey, me neither. What kind of crazy serfs have you got? Well, I have a serf to go to the bathroom for me, a serf to experience difficult emotion for me, and a serf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. <laughs> wow, that's like a lot of serfs. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination! Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from serfdom. Then I'm all out of ideas. Well, I'm sure with the help of Lorgon 111, we can probably think of a dope new kind of surf. At YouTube.com slash Lorgon 111. <laughs> oh, is that so? I can't wait! Well, well, uh, well, you're on the spot now. What'll it be? Okay, a puppy surf. Ooh, puppy, 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 puppy. Okay, like <laughs> a surf that's actually just a room full of cute puppies. Why didn't my imagination surf come out with such a marvelous idea? <laughs> I swear, if he hadn't escaped, I'd have him hanged by my execution circle immediately. Aww. As a matter of fact, would you like to be my new imagination surf? The pain is non existent, but he makes up for it in constant fear of death! I don't know, your creativity is for that may not be a good idea. You politely decline Miranda's offer, but agree to go to the animal shelter to pick out a puppy surf instead. instead. Huzzah! Well, this has been a great lunch for me. <laughs> I got All a right. puppy surf. About time. Yeah, two tables left. You can go with Kitty Girl or someone to actually date. Wait, you can't date Kitty Girl? What? You could probably date Kitty Girl, but I uh, yeah, presume it's going to play out similar to the Monster Hunter in that it's a weird side character. But I imagine there will be a way to date Kitty Girl. When you reach Liam and Damien's table, you find it absent of food, but covered in paperwork. Do we really need all these special forms? Can't we just write death threats on regular paper? 
For the last time, Damien, substantive change within an administrated system requires mastery of the mechanisms of bureaucracy. What if we wrote the death threats on really fancy paper? Liam turns to address you. As you can see, my mastery of real poli real politic has real politic, real politic. I don't know. Real politic. Uh, it's real politic? Uh, is that what, what does that word mean? It's Otto von Bismarck. He, uh, it sort of it means that, like you know, instead of being all diplomatic and trying to, you know, be like, oh, let's find a common ground and peace and understanding. Instead, it's the idea that each country should try to pursue its own individual goals, and then that way, you know, if everyone serves their self-interest, they'll be able to figure out how to like it to be like capitalism or something. I just now it's <laughs> right. Otto. It's Otto van Bismarck. He founded Germany. Don't hate appreciate. So how is it pronounced again? Real politic. Real po my mastery of real politic has caused me to embrace an unlikely ally in my quest for reform. I have no idea what he's saying. I just want the cafeteria food to stop being so fucking boring. You see, our interests are aligned. I too desire a menu less pedestrian. Sure, either way, we're stuck on the last bit. We know we want the menu to change, but we don't know what to change it to. Yes, we have indeed encountered a culinary block. Perhaps you can suggest something appropriately artistic? Perhaps I can. A white plate with a single sprig of parsley in the center, the essence of minimalism. Mm. A bowl of knives, the essence of knives. Hmm. Neither one of these seem particularly useful. I mean, bold knives is pretty rad. My creativity is only five. I don't know if uh, I would go. Oh no! Which hot boys do you want to date? Um, I, think I don't know. Artsy boy wants the sprig of parsley. I imagine demon boy wants the knives. Seems logical. You gotta choose one over the other. All right, we're going with uh, knives. Now that's interesting. Hmm, knives. Seems a bit didactic. We'll see how didactic it is when I'm stabbing faces with a bowl full of knives! <laughs> you don't know what didactic means, do you? Nope! But I know how funny it'll be to watch a bunch of nerds try to finish off a knife bowl. Damien's application to add knives to the menu is a success. He starts holding a daily knife eating con holding daily knife eating contests. There are no winners, except Damien, who thinks it's hilarious. And you, who came up with this. Let's trade places! Okay, challengers, don't skip through the thing till we pick the thing. Who's, I do who's have a question, it? though. When are we going to um, have little breaks at this, possibly? Because these are going to be long episodes. <laughs> we're, we're only in the first week here. Okay. <laughs> at the end of the Every, first week, maybe. We'll everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, giraffe. Polly the platypus. Um, a crow. You said a fox, Maroka? I said, I said a fox, yeah. All right, I'll go with a crow. Okay. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can have Pauly and Polly, and they would be like, they would be loving me, Pauly and Polly, and they'd be like the platypus, like rattling along them, Pauly would like jump, and then there would be Kitty and, oh, it, it's got to be me, got to be me. Well, I'm pretty sure there are already cat and crow videos on YouTube. It's a perfect match. I feel like cat and, cat fox and everything pretty, videos. Pretty solid suggestion, though. That's a fair. fair yeah, but yeah, it cat wouldn't and fox be. Is classic. It would be mm -hmm. less cute because we've already been exposed to the cat and the crow, but ain't no one seen the cat duck bill platypus pup combo, yo. And it besides, is innovative. Yeah, and Polly is the sacred relic of capitalism, so you'd be like cute religiousness too. Uh, I'm sorry, though, but is the world truly ready for a cat making friends with a giraffe? Hey, <laughs> imagine that gir cat sitting on that giraffe's head, though. I know, right? No, I am advocating in favor of the giraffe here. I should, like, state. I just think it would be too rad and it would blow the world's mind. I'm not sure how cute it would be, but yeah, yeah I think it would be a, a very viral video that would be going over very awesome. But platypus, they lay eggs! That's not cute! <laughs> yes, yeah, eggs are cute. cute. Oh, well, they, they have, like, they swim. I, I, I do think Maroka's would be the cutest. I think mine would be the most viral. I think Tulkus's would be the creepiest. 
No! No, don't, no, 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 no. Yeah, we have got Platypus at the bottom. Sorry, Tolkis. What? So Tolkis is last. <laughs> yeah. Wait, am I picking? No, I'm picking. Oh, you're picking. Yeah. Who should be first? Me. We've already established that it's definitely not No, me. no, it's me. Final answer. Me. <laughs> well, I think we're all going to pick I, ourselves I think to be first. I think it's between the crow and the um, fox. I think the fox would be the cutest, though. Especially since foxes are cute in and of themselves. Yeah. It's cute plus cute. It's great in the sum of the cuteness, and it becomes mind-blowingly cute. So I think Morocco would be first. Right. It's between crow and giraffe as far as which one would be second. Which one would you leaning choose, more Morocco? Crow. You're leaning more towards crow for cute? Yeah. The crow can remember the cat's face, so every time the cat comes out, the crow will see the cat. More opportunities for videos. Aww. 